Hey viewer, wow, look at that. Look at that bird, man. Hey, if some of you have seen my, uh, what is it called, man? Bipolarism, Islamic politics, and some other shite, fucking 40 long minute piece of crap, you'll see that I got some nature stuff going on, right? Bipolarism, by the way, is just a load of BS, ma'am. Everyone's fucking bipolar, just to a smaller or larger extent, man. I.e., we're all happy or sad, period. And that changes, by the way. Don't fucking go off there all glum and all that rubbish. Figure out how to be happy is, is really what it is. Anyway, uh, thanks to God I found this nice uh, pair of glasses. Did you see that shit? Did you see the effect right there, man? That's how I see the world right now. It's fucking trippy, man. It's trippy as shit, man. Just a little thing like that, a little fucking tweak. You know, it reminds me of... Uh, one of the arguments for the existence of God, right, is that, um, and obviously it's not a real bird, I don't know if you've realized that yet, why the hell would it be circling around there? They have brains, unlike most human animals, they actually don't just hang around doing nothing. Uh, one of the arguments for the existence of God is that there's so many things, constants and, and whatnot, if, like for instance, the distance of the sun from the earth, or wavelengths, or different trillions and billions and perhaps an infinite number of things, whatever the fuck that means, um, that if they were changed slightly, it would cause total fucking destruction. La fasada de samawat wal earth, says the Quran. The whole damn universe would be destroyed, essentially. Like, they would be in chaos, basically. Allah says, for instance, if, uh, wow, look at this, man, it's made to order. I was going to put it up in a finger and it's in a peace sign. I just stick this shit here. Why do I do stuff like this? I call it fart, free art. I had this thing going on the other day and ladies passing on the other side of the street. She's thinking, this is some cool shit. And so I made it cooler. I said, ma'am, it's called fart, free art. <laughs> and now because I said it to her, it is. You'd be like, how does he come up with this shit? I don't. I wrote her vibe and that's what came out the other end, right? Anyhow, we're outside the library at the Vaughan, uh, rather Clark Community Center in Vaughan. I've realized and I've decided that I do not want to go back down to Toronto in a sense of, of course, I love Toronto and I'm going down there. And when I say Toronto, Vaughan is obviously part of the GTA, the greater Toronto region, right? And uh, it's north of Steeles. Steeles is the fucking like equator in a sense. North of Steeles, you got the affluent, rich scum suckers of Toronto, rather the GTA, the greater Toronto area. And south of, uh, south of, uh, Steals you got the poor scum suckers. They're all scum suckers and they all suck scum. I could go into that, but this is not the video for that. I was talking about constants. Okay, so constants, the thing with constants is this. And by the way, a couple words on that eagle. See, an eagle wouldn't be floating around purposely. People are like, oh, it's so majestic and it's flying around and doing all this rubbish. It's riding air currents, first of all. And then the second thing is like, it's looking for food. See, in that video of mine, Islam, bipolarism, and Islamic policy, something, something, I don't know, there was like, it's 40 minutes long, just go to my channel, if you're, if you're watching this, you can just click on, um, what the hell is it, just click on Zaidi Boys, just click on, click on Zaidi Boy, the icon, my fucking avatar, man, it's got a picture of me and Judas there, and, uh, just put in, put in politics, basically, and it'll come up, see, when you're using Google, what you want to be looking for is a unique identifier to find what you're looking for, so for instance, if you're looking for a search paper by a guy called Simon Thurbaldim and you put in how to make bricks and mortar, you're a dumbass. What you got to put in is Thurbaldim, man. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just couldn't take it, man. His kid is loving this shit, though. Hey, kid. I had this woman in there yesterday give me an earful for swearing in front of her kid. I tried to give her the Gandolfini lecture. Gandolfini fucking Feeney lecture is as follows. You're watching Gandolfini on TV. The show is Sopranos in case you've been out in outer space or inner world for aeons or what seems like aeons so he's like plugging people away slapping his girls and all this kind of rubbish doing coke and he swears a lot and, and you're looking at that shit and you don't swear a lot right at least in the out in the outside world you see the funny thing is we not only condone profanity but we enjoy it and in fact even as a society encourage it in our media right or at least the movies and, and anything that can be rated me i swear period and i say that my kid respects me if I had one, let's say, my kid respects me because I'm more foul-mouthed than fucking Gandolfini. And at the same time, I'm a man of integrity. 
And he knows that if Gandolfini showed up and started giving my wife weird looks, he would be fucking out the door in two heartbeats. And I would school his dumb fat ass. Goddamn guy doesn't even have proper diction in that dumb character. You know what happened with that shit? I'll tell you, I don't even know. Like, I'm a would-be producer. Here's what happened with Gandolfini and Sopranos. He comes on, on, on the set, and obviously what you gotta do is get quote-unquote into character. And he comes out, and he's tried all kinds of dumb, stupid shit, like different accents, and Gomorra, and Corsican, and Sicilian, and whatever, whatever. he's native Italian, right? I don't give a shit if he's second descendant or whatever, he's still native Italian. He's got Italian blood. All right, listen, man, that fucking ego rules, man. I wanna steal that shit, but I'm a Muslim, so I can't do that, obviously. Man, it's just like fucking ghetto up there, man. They stuck it in there with like some duct tape. That's the, sh that's the kind of shit I do. But the city of Vaughan did it. And that's why I'm, he I'm here in Vaughan, you understand? And I'm not going south of Steels. That's what I was trying to say earlier. South of Steels is fucking Satan land as far as I'm concerned. That's where the twain meet or something. Because the guys up here got to go down there, fucking earn a living and suck the blood out of all the poor hardworking folks down there. And the folks down there, the blood suckers, and the drug users and the scum suckers of the earth, etc. Everyone's a damn scum sucker. Imam Mali peace be upon him said, what kind of world is it? Where the rich are miserly and the poor are greedy and it's all, it's all the same. You can have a really nice poor guy. I met this guy from Odessa and he's my best friend now. Everyone's, anyone can be my best friend and anyone, and my best friend can become my, my fiercest foe, man. Imam Mali said, peace be upon him, love your friend, but to a limit, because one day he might be your enemy. And hate your enemy, but to a limit, because one day he might be your friend. So this guy from Odessa is telling me, he's this guy, he's an old guy, basically. He's past 65, I'd say. He's a homeless guy, man. He has the time of his life. Every time I see him, he's dressed. I mean, you can see he's dirty and bedraggled. But he's got fucking style, like, drilled into his dumb ass, man. And I say dumb ass to everyone, including myself, right? And I say motherfucker and all this kind of stuff to everybody, including myself. People mind it, but they don't understand. I think I'm worthless. I'm the worst of the worst, man. That's what Islam teaches you, man. How, how can you judge someone when you know your faults and you don't know all of their faults, you don't know all of their secret hidden thoughts? See, now I'm riding this guy's wave, man, and that kid's loving this stuff. Hey, you want to wave? You want to wave? Wave! All right, maybe not. You're a girl. Toodaloo. <laughs> She's so cute, isn't she? So, anyway, so many things to say. What was I talking about? It doesn't even matter, man. I know what I was talking about. Now, I'm getting better at these damn rants, right? It's like everyone's like, why do you talk so much, man? Who are you talking to, man? What are you saying, man? What are you doing, man? If it wasn't for this damn YouTube channel of mine upon, uh, uh, um, on which you can see my video entitled Bi Oh, wait, it's wildlife. It's wildlife. That's what it was. Like, hold on. Pigeons. There we go. Pigeons, bipolarism, and Islamic politics. Okay, so you can see me doing my, my so-called wildlife photography thing. Now, the thing with it is this. Once you've done it, correctly you move on i don't need to do some more wildlife stuff see now look this is just art you're like what are you doing with those smelly socks first of all they're not smelly the sun is a purifier according to islam right albeit they are wet but i'm going to assume rather i can't assume they're impure quote unquote and there's different kinds of impurity this is not impure according to islam this is dirt if you don't have water then you use this to 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 tap some on your hands and your face to pray right and uh, the thing with that stuff over there is it's just an eye catcher. Because it's symmetrical, someone from a distance is going to think it's, it's like some kind of cool bench. And they'll come over there with their girl and they'll, be, they'll end up with smelly damn socks. <laughs> I just thought that last part up. But you understand, man. That's what life is. That's what the world is. Imam Ali talks about it all the time. Google him. Read some of the stuff that he says in Nehajul Balaga. Basically, the world attracts you. It looks so beautiful. It looks so deceptive. He says the world is like a serpent. It's soft to touch, but deadly to the sting. And he says it's basically the pillars are bent and the reflections are distorted. Everything is like screwed up. So, for instance, we're all running after money and girls and power. Those are the things I fucking run away from. I'm fucking poor as shit, man. I don't have two loonies to do my laundry. Do I look damn sad to you? I'm here to try and explain to you that this sh it's meaningless. It's fucking meaningless. I could be okay, but why? Why? So why? How? Why is it that I'm not? I'm hoping you can get this, viewer. Actually, you probably aren't. Why am I not worried? Okay, I'll tell you why I'm not worried. Because I'm doing something about it. I'm going to apply to Tim Hortons. I'm going to talk to Ed Charter at Salesforce.com. I made some calls to sell. Uh, what is it? Fucking software companies yesterday. I went into Labor Ready yesterday. What else? There's some like macho would-be fucking kung fu action star. 
fucking guy doesn't get out at all, and he's pretending to be the fittest guy on the planet, man. I hate that kind of shit. He's just posing, but that's what everyone does, because they're so fucking insecure, and they don't know what to do. And then, I was telling my roommates, like, you find someone who is actually passionate about something. Real passion scares people. Emotion scares people. It's this funny fucking thing. If you think about it, like, if you're at work, like, a friend of mine, he's like, his boss is like, hey, uh, Charlie, you gotta, you gotta fucking, like, you shouldn't smile that much or something. You're too fucking cheerful, man. The guy's Italian. He lives in New York, and he's, like, he was working, he was, let me just emphasize that shit, because he's got a damn brain. He was working for, like, an accounting firm. Now, I'm not going to say leading accounting firm. Fucking forget about it, man. Any firm is the same as any other firm. It's all the same shit, man. It's politics, it's people worried about losing their jobs, and it's trying to make your boss happy and the people around you happy. And then it's fucking the herd mentality, where you've got someone who is, is get moved. That person is me, by the way. Someone who's not um, conforming to group values essentially gets ostracized and cut off, and, and everyone makes them look bad because that makes them look good. And by the way, I'm not denigrating any of that. That's the way it has to work. It's like saying, for instance, the States is a superpower, and they go around exploding half the world and then accusing Muslims of, 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 of whatever, terrorism in general, like Islam is, uh, is, a, is basically one of these things. On the, on the one hand, they'll say, well, conservative Muslims and all this rubbish. And then on the other hand, what they'll say is, well, you got a terrorist fucking nation. They must be sick. Iran hasn't attacked any other country in like fucking 3,000 years since Xerxes and goddamn Theopoly or whatever the fuck they, they, they did in that movie, 300. Right? Xerxes, man. King Leonidas, man. Madness? This is Sparta. Anyway, it's all rubbish. So they say we attacked uh, fucking countries. Like, okay, let me, let, me, let me school you on that shit if you're interested. It's a simple fucking thing, and I've said it so many times to so many different people. I might as well put it on, online, right? Name one... Apart from Saddam Hussein firing a scud at Israel in the first Gulf War, name one, just one, Muslim country that has aggressed on a non-Muslim country in the 20th century. Okay, now your brain is fucking blown because you're like, hey, he's right. Okay, you think that is the bomb? Go back to the Crusades and find any country that did what I just told you. And the Crusades, you got Saladin and then you got these fucking popes, man. And hey, you choose your sides, man. I'm not on Saladin's side. I'm on the side of truth and justice. I don't know what the fuck went on back then, man. Everyone was like screwed up. It was the damn dark ages, man. This is meant to be the age of enlightenment. Or I'm, I'm hoping. Or is it not? Is it? I don't know. I just made that shit up anyway. All right, we got to get inside, man. I'm here blabbing. I got to make some fucking phone calls, send some applications to timhortons.com. I don't mind working at Tim's. That's actually turning my dream job, man. Fucking drink coffee. Like chat with customers all day and uh, you know like statistically speaking like you're gonna have what two three four five thousand people come through there you might serve a thousand people i don't know i'm just making this shit up i worked at a max store they had like 800 to a thousand people a day and um hey statistically i'm going to meet like five or ten nice people that's all i want man and in sales you can't even do that anymore they fucking don't let you sell who's they your damn sales management all right check this shit out now, people think I'm a good martial artist. My roommate was like fucking blown away uh, or scared shitless, I might, I, I might add, to, or might, might, I might say, um, to the extent that she called the damn cops or all this kind of rubbish. And one of the reasons was because I know Kung Fu. Well, first of all, I practice that shit. You know, here's, here's my thing. You don't need to spend 20 minutes in a dojo every day, brothers. Once you have it, make sure you keep it as all. So, for instance, I'll just show you right now. So, see those things over there? Those, those, those things, very easy for me to get my leg onto. However, those things, that's where I am at nowadays. This is perhaps where I might be in the future. So what I do is the following. Not giving a fuck about what anyone thinks, I calmly walk over and put my leg on it and stretch. And then I'm gonna go back and break the, 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 that table, the, the tabletop. Why? It's just fucking standing there waiting to be broken. I'll, I'll say this to you. God put that shit there to, for me to school you fuckers on something. See, look, there's an arrow, it says down, be humble. Now here goes my leg. And there goes the bus driver's brain who's been eyeing me out. Check it out. Oh, he's gawking at me and waving and shit. Yeah, he's trying to be cool now. He's thinking I'm a fucking packy. And you'll be like, well, th that's just all your mind. I don't give a shit whose mind it came out of. I know that people think like that. I'm the nicest fucking guy in the world. 
But if you come at me with weird vibe, man, you're gonna wish you didn't, basically, or I'm gonna convert your dumb ass without you even realizing. Like, that guy's now driving away. He's got two options. He can either say, wow, he was actually a nice guy, and he was blogging or vlogging or some shit, and uh, wow, he knows how he knows karate, or his damn evil, egoistic mind could be saying, man, he's a brown guy. How come he's so fucking handsome and he gets to mess around in the middle of the day and I gotta drive this damn bus? If he paid attention to his own business, what's his business? His business is taking care of, of his, his responsibilities, man. I'm doing that the best I can, man. Anyhow. And, and what's his responsibility? I think bus drivers, I tell bus drivers all the time, man. I've told a couple at least. I think it's a damn good job. Back. Uh. You know, you get to drive this thing around. You're the king of the road. You got this big windscreen, all this kind of rubbish. And what else is it? You get to like stop in between stops to help people out. People are running for, you see, the thing is this. How many people can you help on that job? You see, and, 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 and what kind of help are you giving them? You're delivering maximum fucking value with that job. You understand? People are trying to get around to, to, to earn a living, but no one wants to leave the damn house anyway, apart from me, man. I fucking don't want to go back there because of my damn roommate. Anyway, did I say I'd break this shit over here? Let me just do that for you. You'd be like, oh, man, he's a karate star. No, no man, the fucking thing is rotted in, man. And I know how to fucking kick, man. It's done deal. It's a done fucking deal. It's a done fucking deal. You'll be like, wow, he's a confident guy and all this bullshit. Listen, man, don't worry about any of that rubbish. The only thing you got to do is this. When you kick this shit, you kick it right, okay? And I think it might even take a goddamn flying kick. I don't give a fuck. It's done, man. And I'm going to leave it here because they, as in the library or whoever the fuck is many who have climbed this up, did it. So I'm going to make a damn point and score some points with you folks. It's fucking easy as shit, man. I don't have to do a fucking flying kick. Check this shit out. Look at that. Simple. Fucking simple. Why? Because I, I, I saw everything and I, I'm experienced and I, I saw everything. It's fucking rotted. Okay, look, you guys are like blown away in the shit. Look at this thing. It's, and it's been raining, man. I could rip this shit apart. Look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. It's not a big deal. Remember, there's always a secret. It's not really a secret, though. It's just stuff. It's stuff you don't know. It's a secret because you don't know it, man. No one's trying to hide that shit from you. Man, there's some cute chick on the swing over there trying to fucking vibe my ass. Narrowly escaped that one, man. Narrowly, fucking narrowly. She's wearing red and all this kind of rubbish. Total fucking fox. Anyway, where are we right now? So, library, right? And uh, just to finish up, I'll just tell you something, guys. It doesn't matter, man. Here's, here's my new thing. Do something no one else knows about. That's it. Do something no one else knows about. It could be given charity. That would be ideal. Imam Ali, peace be upon him, says that, you know, there's like three things that that basically um, there's three things that uh, earn the heavens or earn the uh, earn the uh, riches of heaven like nothing else okay one of those things is uh, giving charity in, 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 in public and by the way I just want to show you I'm not stoned okay I wish I was fucking stoned you probably think I'm you know, smoking weed the whole time uh, and, and thank you for those who uh, enjoyed uh, smoking with Susan. That was a good vid. I know I got a lot of feedback on that shit, man. And uh, whatever, man. I, that was a fucking day in the life. I'm sorry. I hope I'm not boasting. And I, I ask God to keep me humble, man. Because um, a warrior with power has two choices, according to Don Juan, who is Carlos Castaneda's mentor. He said uh, he can act impeccable and grow his power, or he can act like an ass, man. You, you feel good about yourself and you start swaggering around, you know what I mean? That's what Allah says in the Quran, in any case. So, three things that, uh, what is it? Woo! There's three things that uh, earn the power of heaven, or what is it? Uh, yeah, earn the treasures of heaven, apart from, um, you know, like praying and being good to people and all this kind of stuff, like nothing else according to Imam Ali. And uh, look how nice and tidy this place is. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take you up there and show you the uh, flower bed that these fucking fuckers have been putting up. Hey, guys, are the flowers done yet, man? You guys took so long with that shit, man. Hey, man, I pay taxes, too. I got a right to ask these questions, huh? So they're good folks, man. City of Vaughan. They're fucking A right, man. They put up this flower bed that's shaped like a damn V, man. It's, it's really tight, man. It's really all right. Anyhow, so giving charity in secret and then uh, 
giving charity in secret, and then, uh, and then what? Keeping your, your, um, keeping your, uh, sickness a secret, right? Keeping your sickness a secret. The third one is, um, the third one is what? I think it's something like bearing your hardship. I, I, you know, I don't know. I'll be honest with you. But bearing your hardship is a, is a big one too. So they're finishing off. I mean, the only thing with this stuff is they put so much care and attention to that. And I wonder why. It's just a poor old library. Right? It's got outdated software, all this kind of rubbish. So it's an intriguing question. Why would they spend probably in the range of, I'd say, three, four, five grand? These trucks have been here every day for at least the last week or so. I've seen like four guys at a time. I've seen four fucking trucks at a time. Why? Why? I'll show you why. It's a beautiful thing. It's around here somewhere. It's that flower bed over there. And obviously, it's pointed towards the main intersection. But what intersection is goddamn Clark? Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. It's, 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 it's actually marketing. So people are going to go down Dufferin. They're going to pass Steels. As soon as you pass Steels, technically you're in... Technically, you're in um, Toronto on the other side of Steeles. And then you come up Dufferin, okay? And, uh, yeah, so this is Vaughan as soon as you come up Dufferin. Now, when you're returning to Toronto, you're going to see this fucking thing. And what's it, what does it say? And what kind of impression are you going to have? They're dumbasses because they left the hedges up. I hope they take these hedges down. They're not going to do it, of course, because they're dumbasses. guy like me, who's a consultant, could, could point that shit out to them. And the, the question is, who the fuck am I going to tell? And, and are they going to care? Who are, uh, so what and who cares, right? It's classic sales. And the guy's not going to care. All right, whatever. So we're done here, folks. It's a nice town. Okay, Vaughn. Let's show you what the flower bed looks from the point of view of this guy, I guess. <laughs> and uh, we'll call it a day, man. Vaughn, animal shelter now open. Adopt a dog and cat. That's the shit right there, man. But you see, I'm out here. I, you know what? That might actually be the fucking answer. All right, folks, I got to take off. There's what the damn flower bed looks like. You can see it's shaped like a V, right? Whatever, dude, it's meant to be. That's another bad bit of bad planning, obviously. Some idiot came up with this idea without even fucking coming out here to look what it would look like, right? Hey, ma'am, you got to get rid of these bushes so that people going back to Toronto can see this stuff. It should have been raised up to begin with. Anyhow, I'm going to take a picture of this stuff and uh, call it a day, all right? See you guys, and thanks for tuning in. Ha! You see that shit? That was the palm, right? <laughs>